Welcome back to STEM with Storm. In the last video, you learned what an engineer is. Remember that an engineer is someone who studies how and why things work and helps to solve problems. There are lots of different kinds of engineers. Today, we're going to learn about one type, which is an industrial engineer. An industrial engineer works behind the scenes to focus on how things are made in order to make things and save time, money, and energy. This is called process improvement. Henry Ford is an example of an industrial engineer from Detroit, Michigan. As a young boy, Henry Ford was fascinated with steam engines used to power carts on the road. He spent lots of time as a young child making his own tools, learning how to repair things, and asking questions to learn all he could about the mechanics of machines. He began to dream of building a self-powered vehicle. While Henry worked for Thomas Edison fixing steam engines that generated electricity, he also explored making his own gas-powered car. His first car went 20 miles per hour. He continued to make improvements on the car's makeup and eventually started his own company, the Ford Motor Company, and he built the Model A. Henry Ford built and sold a car that was well-made and simple to operate, as well as cheap to consumers. Henry Ford continued to use process improvement and make changes in order to save time, money, and energy while making Ford vehicles. His factories used an assembly line so that the car could be built as it moved throughout the factory. Instead of one car taking 12 hours to complete, the assembly line allowed one car to be built in just 90 minutes. He was able to make his cars affordable so that more Americans could own one. Hi guys, my name is Brooke Cunningham and I play softball here at Tribe. And now let's get everybody to stand up and let's do a brain break. All right, first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna reach your hands all the way up to the sky. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Now all the way down and touch your toes. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, Get ready to be airplanes. Here we go. Airplanes. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, let's be like an elephant and stomp our feet. Four, three, two, one. Now, my favorite animal, a penguin. Here we go. Let's waddle in a circle. Ready? Go. Five, four, Three, two, one. Thanks for joining me and the crew on this awesome brain break. Good job, guys. Good job, Storm. Now it's our chance to try this out. We're gonna improve a process. Like in the video that we watched, an assembly line, something must start at one end and go through the entire process. Today, we're gonna to use a tennis ball. So there are 12 tennis balls in this bucket, and the tennis ball has to pass through every single engineer that's behind me and end in Storm's bucket. It has to stay in control so we can't throw it from one side of the room to the other, and it again has to touch every one of their hands. So let's see how we can do today. You ready, Storm? Let's, let's get started. Last one. Oh, that one dropped. We got to start it over. And done. Well, that process seemed okay, but we dropped it a couple times and we had to start it back over. So let's have the team come in here and talk for a second and see how we might be able to improve the process. Let's see what we can do. Go ahead. Oh, so the team thinks that they were standing a little bit too far apart because they had to reach way out to pass the ball. Well, Storm, let's, let's trade buckets and we'll try that all over again. All righty, ready? Let's go. That's the last one. That was a lot quicker. 
Well, let's try one more way. Let's see if we can come up with a little bit faster idea. Let's think about how we can use our engineering minds to solve the problem. If we think about it, the rule was it had to touch everybody's hand and go from this bucket to that bucket. So team, let's, why don't we put in our hands like this? So when I touch the ball, I can put it right in there. All right, are we ready? On our mark, get set, go. And we're done. Was that a lot quicker? And did we not have a chance to drop the ball? That is industrial engineering, trying to find the best, fastest way to do it and the most efficient. Today's big idea. An industrial engineer is someone who improves processes in order to save time, energy, and money. You can be an industrial engineer too. When you are at home, look for a process that you can complete faster. Perhaps you can help organize a process for laundry, or cleaning out the dishwasher, or preparing your family meals. Share your ideas with your family and then try the process for improvement.